Welcome to the DVD commentary for Moro. This is uh, your host Paul Quinn, and I am on Pulp Culture Junkies. You still can't see me, but you can watch War Watching, which is a movie called Moro, which is uh, written, 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 <laughs> written and directed by my friend Robert Prince. Say hi to everybody, Robert. Hey, how you doing? It, actuality, it is uh, written in, written by probably about four people. No, it was me, Glenn, and Mike. And it was directed by Mike and I. Oh, okay. So you only wrote like maybe part of it. Uh, the collaborative. It was pretty much we were we were sitting at work at a call center, and uh, you know it gets boring at times, and then other times you want to rip your hair out. So this time between the boring times, like uh, my cubicle was here, Mike's was there, and Glenn's was here. Okay. So they can't see you. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm explaining to you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how close vicinity is it? So if you have very close quarters. Yes, so then we had the idea, you know, what are we going to do on the weekends? And first thought was drink. <laughs> yeah, because it just came from a good choice. Yes, good choice. Exactly, <laughs> yes. And then the second thought was actually, well, why don't we, because we're all creative guys, let's just try to make a movie. And right. that's what we did. Right. And with us against his will, I might add, who has no idea about this movie, has never ever seen it, and we're showing it to him with the sound down, because we're just, I don't know, we're dicks. Uh, our buddy Jay. Hello. That's his radio voice, ladies. I don't have a radio voice. <laughs> I wish I had a radio voice. You got a face for radio, trust me. Definitely. <laughs> and Paul got a penis for a microscope. <laughs> Boom, butch. He's your OB, folks. Try the deal. So are we gonna roll this baby or what? Yes, we're okay. gonna roll it. All right. Then we'll do the commentary. Should I talk like this the whole commentary? Would that be cool? Nah, we probably get sued. Probably get sued. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get sued. DVD. Very hard to find. Yeah. Images, okay. I mean. So when was this movie made? Uh, probably about 2003, 2004. Took a while? Yes. It took us, uh, we shot it in the duration of uh, summer, weekends, and uh, probably a little bit of the fall. Yeah, because there are parts where there's leaves on the trees, and there's parts where the living it looks like there's leaves on the ground. Yes. So, yeah, this, where's this location? Uh, this location was just some corner store that we got permission to shoot in. Oh, wow. And there were two guys that worked there? Um, no, there was one person. He's not on camera. Told us we could do it. He oh, was okay. the owner of a small little store. Really, really right. gracious guy. So these guys are just like guys that volunteer? Yes, actually, the guy who's got the buzz cocks, uh, his muscle what, top his, on. His what cocks? <laughs> <laughs> he was a customer in the store, and we kind of pulled him aside and right. said, can you do this part? Uh, okay. Yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's it for? Just don't ask. Just doesn't need to know that. He and know that. the other gentleman, the reporter, is my friend John. He's uh, actually worked with National Geographic around the world taking photographs. He looked that outfit he's wearing looks like he should be like in Bosnia or something reporting on, on the latest bombings. Well, that's it's just terrible here, Bill. <laughs> that's where part of it takes place. Oh, in Bosnia. <laughs> yes. Yes. Kate oh, it Britain. is a worldwide epidemic. Cape Breton and Bosnia. Yeah, they're so close. We had such a large budget. You can see for it from your backyard, yeah. <laughs> What's so? The, what's with the title? Is that like short for "Tomorrow Morning, Boys"? We're gonna go fishing. Tomorrow actually means tomorrow. Right. So they are just hacking it. Is that like a Cape Breton thing, or is it? it it's actually from William Shakespeare. Oh, um, yes. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Which means tomorrow. 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 Yes. Yes. So a Shakespearean uh, theme. Uh, not so much a theme, but we are thinking of, because it's based on Y2K, it's right. what's going to happen after. Right. So, so no way Shakespeare influence at all? No. Nobody has a soliloquy. Well, I just pretty much, actually Mike and I, we pretty much just looked up uh, meanings of tomorrow when we found this. Oh, okay. So it's just like old English, I guess, right? Yeah. Which has absolutely nothing to do with the name. Yes. So <laughs> this, this effect here, you did all this yourself? Yeah, I did it in uh, Adobe After Effects and uh, 3D Studio Max. Wow. And, uh, and that's at the time. So obviously those two programs are probably 
Lady it's had Catherine. several version changes since yeah. then. Oh yes, Jay's yes. very familiar with the versions. Not the virgins, the versions. <laughs> well, I've even seen some of your more later work with CS6 stuff like that you've been doing, and you wouldn't be able to do that because this would have been like the earliest versions of the software. Yeah, so. this is very proto. I think it was after Effects two or three, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, that yeah, I did yeah. this in. Wow, that's pretty basic. Though. How much of that time did that take? Uh, that actually took probably about that little sequence, uh, plus the rendering on my old computer, you're probably looking about three weeks. Wow. And today, what would that take? Um, that would probably take about three hours. You better get wow. up and get ready, you stuff Huge American flag. flag in this Canadian film. No kidding. Yes, I didn't, uh, pretty much point out where it was, so it could um, be anywhere. I think they're going to figure it out with the accents. I don't know. They don't have accents. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe not to you. They sound normal to me. You guys got the accents. <laughs> yeah. We got the accents. Eh? We're from like Northern it's just, Ontario. It's not fair. Eh. Eh. Yes. So this is your mom's house? Yes, this is my mom's house where we shot the uh, opening sequence. That is a very good towel trick. I have that towel at home. Oh. I think all women can do that towel trick. You actually got the towel off of the actress? No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's an eBay thing. No, uh, no, I literally have that that towel at home, like that same towel. It's a very popular model. Yes. It, this whole film looks very nineties. Great, great. Very. Does it not? It's just because of the furniture and. No, it's just going to be me. It's got that Three's Company feel. Yes, yeah, which isn't the only case. Down home, we don't like to redecorate a lot. <laughs> that's a joke. That's that's a big joke. But um, this, yeah, shout out my mother's and. You know, the the woman, she just, she loves changing her curtains every, like, three times a week. Really? Yes. Is and then she rearranges her furniture all the time. Oh, my God. And so this house here is a different location? Yes, that there is actually my, uh, my friend Glenn is walking down the stairs right now. That's his, well, his house. Right, right. And, and then this is at, uh, my partner's behind his yard. Wow, a lot so of it's property. Another you have a lot of property out there. Yes. We shot a lot of locations. I keep waiting for a closer picture of the movie show. It's got that first season of uh, Turtle Park Boys. Yes, you're very quiet, Jay. I'm watching the movie. I haven't seen it. You guys have seen this. You can sort of talk about it. I'm just trying to explain it for those who haven't seen it. Uh, What is the movie about? Well, the premise of the movie was that because of the Y2K scare, everybody was scared that the computer was going to shut down. So, in this community, all of the uh, families that had that were well to do off or had a little bit of money, they uh, got together and they said, "We're going to send their children away where there's no computers to affect their life until we find out if this is just a scare or not." So they sent them up into the mountains, into the cabin. And that's where I'm concerned. Yes. Right. On the way up. What is what is the difference between oh hey, way on here's here's uh see if you can guess who this is making his Hitchcockian appearance. Peter Jackson. Peter, oh Peter Jackson. The George Romero of uh, East Coast. This is uh, this dude is you, right? Yes. I'm the bomb. He's the bomb. Do you get to act in most of your movies? Um Sometimes, if I have no choice, yes. So it's truly really against your will that you're doing this. It is. Oh, much. I, the first time I see myself act on camera, I immediately wanted to learn how to do it behind the camera. So, so this is your least favorite part of the entire movie because no. you're on screen? Yes. <laughs> this, did this, you showed me a, a piece with you in it, that, and it was, you, you were the killer. Was you in the parents' house or something? You had an axe? Oh, yes, yes. Was that before this? Um, no, this was after. That's after. So is this the longest short... Well, this is a specific feature, no? Yes, because of the time. 30 minutes? Great. And where's this now? Um, where is it at? It's hidden underneath my bed. No, where is this location? (laughs) Uh, this was up, uh, North Sydney too as well. They look very cold. It, yeah, it, so it was cold, cold, yes, definitely. This was one of the fall day shoots that we did. And again, we did it over the summer and the fall. Right. And we oh, shot what? with two different cameras. And neither one of us knew how to do color correcting and match cameras and that. So you can see the right. change in color. The dude, the dude that just walked in with the baseball hat looked like he was about to trip 
over that log. Um, and the one guy of the things he did fall. But it looks like the other guy caught him, so he, he wasn't going to fall over. Oh, probably. Yeah. And this guy is? Uh, this is my friend Glenn. He's one of the uh, co-writers as well. Great. And he has a very unique nickname. Yes. So, uh, how's your mind? It's... Frodo. Frodo. <laughs> he looks like a hobbit. Apparently. He looks like a hobbit. He has hobbit feet, apparently. He does. He took it. We were at one of the locations shooting, and we bugged him to take his socks off, and he did. And he has hobbit feet, <laughs> including the hair. I'm sure he loves that you tell people this. Oh, he knows. He, They're his feet. Can't deny it. He's it's okay true. with it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, when we had the screening, and uh, we invited a whole bunch of people to come, and we had a good crowd. And when Thanks. we were doing the Q&A, we had Glenn up and we introduced him as Frodo Baggins. <laughs> I like that you can go with that. Now, is this the same location where we last saw this guy, or is this another one? This is another location. Okay. So you just took that tree and put it across there. Did you have to do that a lot? Did you have to do any research? No, actually, we found it just like that. So, uh, how many, uh, uh, how much, did we just go back and shoot any, reshoot anything? Nope. Nothing? Uh-huh. When we were done, we were done. <laughs> That's What's, it. We were was done. there a budget? Um, just food for everybody. That's right. It. And it was usually we would uh, make a whole bunch of stuff and then just give it to them. Or sometimes they would just go and get food and come back. It was just all volunteer work. Okay, he, was, thing. he was really selling the fact that he was taking a piss there. Probably yeah, was. I just want to say, it was, that, was, that was Oscar-worthy material for shaking your dick and putting it back in your pants. Um, yeah, but that was all <coughs> fake. He was. He wasn't actually. Your no, age. he wasn't. Because he was taking. He looked like he was taking off the camera. Long, yes. I didn't want to see his junk. <laughs> yeah, you want to get peed on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not on your life. <laughs> so yeah, it's no, that's not good. I'm just gonna move on. No, I'm just saying he was really like yeah, you know, the last shake. He's like doing it like five or six times. Okay. More than more than twice. You're playing with it. Yeah, exactly. Um, during halfway of shooting this uh, film, uh, the gentleman who was having to pee decided to shave his head. And that, shave. That causes some continuity oh, errors. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you'll definitely notice uh, when we get to the part where he is in bed and he attacks a girl. Spoiler that's alert. when he, he has a different hairdo. Right, right, right. <laughs> that happens in a lot of movies. Okay, sure. He's dead too, briefly. He's got different lengths of hair, and he's heavier in some shots and lighter in some shots because he lost a lot of weight from all the shit he had to do. And it yeah. It took like another year to shoot something else. Yeah, that took unless, a long time to make. Yeah, unless you're looking for something, you don't really see it. Now, it was a passion was project. Yeah, exactly. Much much like this, I'm sure. Yeah, this was like a begging project, <laughs> not a passion project. Now, that is a shitload of dolls in that house. Yes. This was another location that is up close on the Cap Trail in Cape Breton. And... Um, a long time to drive up there and the setup and everything and uh, the gentleman who owned the place that let us shoot there, we were there, we were shooting until like between 4.30 and 5 o'clock in the morning and he just loved it all. He loved the company, he loved everybody around and uh, it was a relation to the girl dressed in black. The one with the Princess Leia buns in her hair? Yeah, well, she called them shitlocks. Shitlocks? Yes. Why did he call them that? Um, because it looked like somebody took a dump on each side of her head. <laughs> oh, that's classy. Right. Yeah, that's good. So you now, this is a dude you have to watch because he got... He has shaved his head, shaved his beard, right? Yes, okay. but not yet. He still... <laughs> keep close eye onto the length of his hair and the chin strap he has or whatever. Chin strap? That's well, some, the, the chin part, right? Okay. The goatee. That's some serious pain. <laughs> What, on his face or on... No, <laughs> on the <laughs> wall behind it. That's some serious paneling, man. That's what dates the, dates the thing, but it makes it look older than it actually that is. The, the TV she picked up a few minutes ago. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely was, an old school yeah, Especially TV. now, because even small TVs are flat. Yeah. Right? Well, we wanted to do this scene, and the TV was kind of like just put in there at the last second. And uh, the gentleman who owns the place said we could use this TV, and I said, only if it's, you know, if it gets broken... You're not going to get upset over it, and it didn't even work. Oh, so he really didn't care. Yeah, he didn't care. He found one that was no good, so he let the show. That was a serious stunt that we just saw there. Yeah, the the, the, the fabulous uh, tripping. Is it, yeah. yeah and what is with the finger with that? Like, that's I've never seen. That's an American way of giving the bird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and if you notice onto the uh, onto Speedy's 
shirt it says New York. Right. One's called New, one's called York. You really tried <laughs> to sell the American part of this movie. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. I did. <laughs> Is he, uh, this film has been screened for the New York oh, tourism. Did you know that? Oh, nice. Never go here. <laughs> Never go here. Oh, he's got a hickey. Yep. Looks like he had a nipple on his neck. Something wrong. A nipple? That was my makeup effects oh. back then, okay? Your edges were good. But it, it was a, it, the areola was great. Perfect. And for the pussy part, like the running down, it was actually the hand sanitizer. Yeah, you're nice. pussy, so, not. Nice. Watch what you say, little man. So here. I'll be using yeah, your face in football next time. I think yes. you should call my mom to come and get us. See, so you guys yeah, kind of took the... Hello? Even the phone was still... Like, you know, Why took K's beginning yeah, already? Really yeah, nobody's pulled a cell phone yet. I just yeah. my dad doesn't get it hooked up. Yeah, yeah. no, there was no cell phone. That's just great. Bruce, you can't take the truck up here. Now there's no phone. So you kind of took oh, the literal approach to the Y2K okay. bug and have him with a bit of a bug bite. Yeah, there's no reason to yes, have not going to work. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck? What this else gentleman, his name is Alan, and uh, he was a bouncer at the bar. Yeah, he has yeah. a bouncer look to him. Now he dies. It's very soap opera. I think he just passed yes. framing shot. What the hell happened? And look at the nice lighting in the back. Still kind of very, very given that the, the circle yeah. spotlight just onto really Michael, yeah, who is a gentleman who is very uh, Jesus. Yes, he's fallen and yeah. he can't get up. He's fallen and he can't get up. Yeah. It's an allegory for the falling of Christ. Right? That, that's where you were going. You figured <laughs> me out. Sorry. Ooh, now is this a stock shot or did you get that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. So he's moving and he has no pulse. Right. That's a nasty gash. That's from where he get hit in the head with the baseball bat. Ah, gotcha. And then the the mark on his neck is where the original bite happened from the bug that yeah. had the Y2K fires. So it's starting to fester. Now, some, we some rehearsed on special features of this disc. Uh, it showed us uh, doing the intestine test, and it didn't oh, work right. out. Sometimes actually, really grossier. Yeah, it, it it's looks older. like he takes a dump instead of the intestine yeah. falling on the floor. <laughs> it does all look like, oh, damn. Yeah, but Blue like, right we, now. we spent like five hours creating these intestines for this shot, and it just... Didn't work. Sometimes that happens, wanted. right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, inexperience. What was that camera flick there? That was probably just. It looked like an autofocus. Or something. It was a yeah. twitch. Oh, okay, yeah, it was like a twitch. Yeah. These cameras couldn't be put in manual mode, so the autofocus was always on. Oh, right. So. Because this is on tape, right? This is yes. not digital. No, it's not digital. All it's all analog that we can for digital. Half inch. Um. No, not even half inch. Quarter. Inch. So like this little tiny cassette? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the mini DVs. Did you ever have one of those ones that you could fit the VHS tape in the camera? Yes, that's look, what I started it, on. It looked like a television camera? Yeah, I used to shoot weddings and I used a VHS yeah, yeah. camcorder. That comes in handy, though. Yeah, you just yeah. hand the tape when you're done. <laughs> Leave. Yeah. No, I okay. had it edit it with yeah. like three or four different VCRs hooked up. And right, yeah, that had to be a bitch back then. It was probably, probably even worse than film, I would think. Uh, well, film you can cut. This here, you just yeah. stop, rewind. But you have to make a copy from that, and you keep degenerating, right? Yes. Whereas now, with film, you have the negative that you cut. Yes. And it just makes you make the print out of that. Oh, she in a bathroom stall? Actually, the two of them are hiding in a closet. Oh, okay. How'd are they supposed that? to be across from each other? Yes. How are you getting that echo? The echo, because we didn't know what we were doing. It's probably uh, That actual closet was very tiny. So that's not an after effect? And no, this not intentional. It, it wasn't intentional. It was very echoey. It was a small closet, but so you shot them separate. Yes, he looks very green. Yeah, we had a, the light. We had we had a gel filter that split two different colors off. Because she looks very orange. Because it's supposed to be red. two different closets. No, it's just uh, the way the light is. We wanted to make it just. So they're supposed to be like working across each other. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the cat got in there when. Um, that's what made the noise that scared them. Ah, gotcha. Ooh, body tackle. Ooh, yeah. looked, like, looked like he level was going to land on her. Well, she actually hit her elbow off the floor doing this a Ooh. couple of times. Now, that was a first perspective shot, right? Yes. And the shadow, shadowing. It's motion blur. He's swinging that blur. fast. Should have put the bionic noise in there. ding, 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 ding. Yeah, this was a funny shot that we did. To make a scary pop up, but you see him in the corner. See him in the corner. Yeah, you, there you it is. Oh, okay. You see him in the corner before he even stop, he uh, stood up. Because we didn't know how to, we didn't have know how to digitally cut and edit. Yeah, yeah. These, yeah. so we had to kind of put a lot of more physical camera effects and yeah, everything yeah. in. Stop shot. Same stop shot. Same stop yeah, shot. Same, reverse. Just reverse. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good trick. Yes. It's a good trick. You know, you use the money. Now, this is, you said this is this guy's property? Yes. This is uh, pretty much right on the train tracks. Oh, wow. Pretty close. Uh, in the back, if you walk a little further, you'll uh, find some train tracks. Cool. Did any trains come by no, while you are shooting? No, well, the trains never ran back then. If a, I could be getting the locations mixed up. If they're not train tracks here, it's a little stream. Right. Did that play havoc with the sound? No, not at all. Now, did you do the same thing you do now, where you record the track separate, the top track separate? Um, no, actually, we had the audio running directly to a computer to my camera, but from the from the uh, sound man, which the sound man is that guy that's cutting to right. it. The old fashioned trick of burying the guy in half. Yes, and traditionally you use a shotgun microphone when you're recording audio, like for a yeah. copy. So you had a guy with a boom. Yeah, but he used a condenser microphone. Yes. Which is something like what we're using now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what he used to record the audio. That sounds complicated. It was very complicated. And there was at times we had like 100 foot of XLR cable daisy chained together to get to our location <laughs> from the computer. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do what you what gotta kind do. Of um, oh, geez, I think it was like a, a Pentium 3. Like a laptop? No. Uh, we did laptop. And then we also, when we were at this location, we didn't have the laptop because whoever loaned us loaned us her laptop she needed it back for school so then we took 
Glenn, which is a gentleman in the blue, Frodo shirt, uh, we took his computer and set it out in the middle of his field and ran extension cords. Oh my god. And then the daisy chain of XLR. Right. He, he, ba- <laughs> he basically filmed this on a Commodore 64, if you're telling us. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it's, but close to it. But like, we had so much extension cords and XLR cables linked together. Like, for all the stuff that we did, because we were so inexperienced, I'm surprised that it actually was able to be done. That's why I was so amazed. And I, it got done. Like, it, it's complete. It's yes, finished. Yeah. Yes, it was finished. Now, for tape, like when you when you normally see videotape, it looks there's something off about the image. But this is really crisp. Not as crisp as what the cameras are now. But for tape, it just shows you how far the actual analog tape came for digital, digital. yes uh, and plus because it didn't have any manual focusing settings everything yeah. was in focus so it made it more crisp looking yeah and you couldn't change the frame rate on this right like, no you know. I didn't know how right well it could could you have done it if you knew how um, not in the older After Effects and Premiere probably not no so you could probably take this in now to a computer and make it look like it was shot on film oh yeah like I can color correct it and just really, I could probably change to sixty nine. Well, that's even what they do when they digitally remaster films and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah with, the, all... with the the old Star Trek series. Have you ever seen that? The restorations on that. Yes, that's amazing in HD. Like considering those tapes are like 45, 50 years old. But you don't want to do that because then you ruin the film. Because then it's like the, the the new Star Wars movies, right? Yes, the, the digitally remastered ones with. No, no, this is just them like. Sharpening up the picture and putting it in sixteen by nine. Yeah, but still, you're losing what Jay's trying to say. You're losing that that nostalgia or the feel yeah, from guess. The, from the time era because that time era is going to uh, predict the way that you shoot because yeah. you can only shoot to so much. Uh, past yeah, television location. is always close quarters. Right, the film is always like. Yeah. So who's the dude in the uh, lumberjack shirt? Oh, right? uh, that's my friend Brad Mills. He's actually from the East Coast, but he moves up here in Ontario, Canada. And he's a very smart businessman. He actually shot... Uh, I wanted to give him uh, success because he shot a movie. Actually, he went back to Cape Breton. And he, he did what I did, like volunteer stuff and everything. And he he saved some money and everything to shoot it. And he shot a feature-length movie called Psycho... The Psychotic Forest Ranger, I think it's called. Yes, I Brad, if I got the name wrong, I apologize. But I went and I seen the screening of it. It's a really Is it on DVD? Um, it's going to be released on DVD, actually. Yeah, I, I saw a trailer for it. I want to see it. Uh, it. You know, he did great. Him and his sister made it. And wow. And it was just phenomenal. Hats off to uh, to both of them, Brad and Jackie, for sure. Great. We should talk to a smart guy like that to help her finance all of our stuff. He, he's really business smart. And so is it, this is a hose gushing up some blood? Yeah, um, with this shot here, when he's laying down, you can see his right leg oh. is off camera. <laughs> We had the blood tubes running up his pants. I like just got stopped for a second. He picked her up and then the, the ran off screen off the tiles. Because <laughs> <laughs> he didn't wobbly want to hurt her. Anyway, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, like we didn't really. What do I do with the end of this tackle? Yeah, but it just, you could have cut before that and it would have probably looked okay, but he just kind of like shuffled off with her. Well, we, when we did shoot this, we tried to want it to get a like 80s style B horror yeah, movie. And you succeeded totally. Oh, here's like a Walking Dead thing that yes. you said. Yeah, this shot's great. Yeah. Because you still see this shot. Like, everyone yeah. still uses it. How was that done? Um, it was called an echo when I did it. It was in a... Uh, so it's just an effect you just drop in. Yeah, oh, pretty okay. much. So it, take, it takes, like, zero effort, but everyone uses it, basically. Yeah. Yes. Like, that, and that's why they use it. <laughs> nice. 25 yeah. years ago, you would, have you, to, learned. you would have had to do some kind of overlay or... Oh, definitely. It would have been, like, been 90 like, layers of yeah. different opacities all over It would have taken a month to do a sequence like that. Yeah, that's, that's a little funny. You can see the broken stick in the corner there just protruding on the the left frame. See the stick? By her? No, right by Shannon, right by Steve. The, the bottom right there? Yeah. yeah. See, now it's right oh. there because... What did you say about uh, never let an infected person into the shed with you? Yes, mm. exactly. So you see the stick, right? Yeah. So I, we established the stick because you'll see what happens. It's a red herring. <laughs> it's foreshadowing, folks. But they have a weapon because they have a stick. Yes. Yes. That's important. As long as you have a stick, you'll always be armed. Now, it seriously looks like you're making out here. Um, this was... Biting half her boob. The, She's half, biting her boob. Half of the shed was Ooh. full of glass. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, so there's we the have stick. A, right. Yep, yeah, there's the stick. Oh, and there it looks like a freezy pop. Yeah, 
it does, doesn't I, it? <laughs> it looked like a really giant freezy pop. That's some orange looking blood there, dude. Yes. You just before you perfected your your formula for blood. Yes, definitely. Yeah. You have so many formulas. Yes. I do have so many formulas. And I Back then I didn't even have Wow, that's one. really green. Yes. Actually I color corrected that for the the bring of the oh, green. Right, right. right now are you gonna uh, re color correct the final cut of this? Um I don't know yet. I am still I might just like Jay was saying, leave it like it is because it captured the nostalgia. Well we can do a remastered version and Version. Yes, because this is our second commentary. Where the yeah. zomb the yeah, zombies so shot first. Yes, the zombie shot first. This is a, a, the second take of the commentary because uh, he kind of got off topic a little yes. bit. Yes. Now, it seriously looked like he's blowing that guy. We realized that after we <laughs> shot it, and it's like, uh, we'll just leave it it's in. It's a little late to fix. Yeah, just <laughs> what happens, happens. Now, today you could go back digitally and, you know, put... You know, some cum in there too. Well, I could have gone back to reshoot it too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, but it wasn't in the budget. It was, yeah, it wasn't in the budget. Now she's got a serious red face to match that shirt. It just kind of rolls out. And of if way. you notice, but the crack. makeup is only on her face and not her neck or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very now, difficult shot right there. Now, did you just speed that up? Yeah, several times. I shot it like three or four times and then combined them all together. Now this guy needs an, uh, some kind of an award. Oh, Photoshop eyes. Very Looks like shot. electrocuted or something. Um, <laughs> this dude with the no arm, he actually has an arm, right? Yes, he does. Yes, but he's really selling it. He does. I'm buying it. That is our sound guy. The same guy that was buried. Uh, yes. Okay, <laughs> he's putting the helmet on. They just put the helmet on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he so put the helmet on. Like this was a different day that we shot so this. So he's like the Walt Flanagan of your movie. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Playing I'm different here, parts. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Put this wig on. Put these glasses on. Yeah, exactly. And this is in the, this dude's backyard, no? Um, no, actually, this is another location again. She's now, been, this... She's been to an after party of some sort, <laughs> clearly. Yes, and it went wrong. And it went terribly horribly wrong. Now, now, this guy tripped over his own feet. Yes, because he's... He's not much of a danger. Oh, well, I don't know. He, he pretty he big guy. He, 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 uh, he, he fell pretty hard, too. It looked like he just kind of... Like, he did it purposely. Out. He just... He did. Shit. He said, does that look good? Are you okay? I said, yeah, it looked great. Are you all right? He said, yeah. <laughs> it's falling in gravel, too. Like, shit. See, never really up in the number of infected uh, people here. Yes. Because this is when now, all car is this? hell breaks loose. Actually, this is uh, our friend's car. He's in there. You'll see in a second. Oh, this guy owns the car. Yeah. And, and uh, What is that? That's a... Of some kind. Oh no! It matches the rest of the time period. Yeah, how come there's no door panel? What the fuck's up with that? You will also uh, it's probably a crank window too. I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, it looks like uh, it just looks very degraded. The first time I saw this, I thought the car was just like out in somebody's field, and you had just say to that guy, sit in the sit in the seat, and we open the door, you'll fall out, because there's no there's no door panel thing. What the hell? They just pulled them over off the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the final... See, and there's a, there's a door panel in there. Now, is this the same car? Yes, it's the exact okay. same car. Same location, we didn't move it or nothing. So but this, this car was now. actually operational. Was this fade out intentional, or did you guys do it in After Effects later? And um, After Effects. Pretty much the, the broadcast was saying where the, the virus is right, by right. a computer, it's by a bug, and yeah. this is uh, the zombie apocalypse. Happen if you want to call it. Now this this running time is about forty five minutes. You said. I do you know what? It's probably even shorter than that because watching it again, I'm looking at maybe thirty minutes if. Because this this would be either half hour television today or hour television today because of all the commercials. Oh yeah. So it's back in the seventies around forty five minutes because they didn't have as much now. It's only forty minutes. Yes. Right, and a half hour is twenty two minutes. Well, this seemed to go on lo so long, so we decided we got to end it some way. Yeah, yeah. There's only Endings so are always hard, though. Especially if, if you're not really having a lot of money. To like, we were writing this while we were shooting it. Oh, really? Yes, the revisions and then changing it, it just, it was crazy. But when did you decide, like, where you wanted it to go? Was that near the end, or did you sort of have it We halfway decided, that, that's actually a great question, actually, Jay. Um, we decided that we can't afford to do what we want. So we had to figure out a way to end it quickly. Well, that's yeah. that's usually most horror movie. In fact, most uh, short films they tell the they tell the, the people you know you don't know how to end your movie. That's why they, at the end of Clerks, Dante is actually shot 
And they said, the people when they bought the movie said, you got to take that out because if you only put it in there because you didn't know how to end your movie. Well, endings are the hardest part yeah. to write. I yeah, mean, Kevin Smith said, yeah, you're right. So it ends the way it ends. It's like, nobody knew there was going to be another one, but... Well, there's so many bo- movies that are based off of books where the book ends one way and the movie ends a yeah. totally different way because somebody decided the ending was yeah. crap in the book or whatever. Yeah. I mean, Fight Club's like that. Well, gentlemen, it's been, it's been fun watching this movie again. I can't wait to listen to it with the commentary. I've always yes. Said, I've, I've fulfilled one of my dreams. I can now do a commentary. I'm glad we could help you with that. And yeah. And this time we did actually stay yeah, on topic. And we actually stayed on topic, yeah. So, uh, until next time, keep watching the skies. <laughs> <laughs>